Okay, for boarding, I don't have no fancy setup like a lot of them do. Uh, I've got a, I use a trash can. I've been wanting to build a uh, actual boarding table, but I ain't got around to it yet. This, uh, this ain't no great big beaver we got here. So trash can works pretty good. What I do is start, put some nails right in the center of the beaver. Might not be enough, it might be too much. Okay, on a beaver board you've got 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. And that's your rings for any of you that don't know about doing a beaver. Uh, I've done a lot of 60s and 50s and a couple 40s on this board. Uh, 165 last year. What I do is I start out, I take the nose, I lay it on 55 here, I pull back to 55 here, and then watch. If I can pull it out here and it moves it, then to me personally, that's a little too big. We're going to put this in on a 50 and uh, see how it goes a lot of times I'll get one started and might do it on a 55 and it would be a little small so I have to back up and pull everything out and put it on a, down to a 50 or so on but we're going to do this on a 50 and see how it turns out first nail started this beaver board is made out of uh, Three quarter inch plywood too. I got it double sided, <clears throat> kind of middle of her tail area. Get on the fifty. Find her middle here. These gloves make it a little difficult to work with. So it keeps the grease off your hands with these old beavers. Sometimes when you're tacking these old beaver, your lines will get a little off or something as you're going around. That ain't really a big important thing. As long as you keep that oval shape, you'll be fine. Okay, so far we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nails in it. Now from here what I'll do is I'll start here at the head. I'll come around to here and I'll just start joining them up. And then when I get to here, I'll come back and go around. And then the back end will be our last section. Sometimes I'll do it vice versa with the head, but on the head, the skin's a whole lot thinner. So if you can get it in place now, when you get back here, if you've got to do any little pulling or tugging, you'll be fine. I like to keep my nails about anywhere from me inch to two fingers apart. <clears throat> I don't like having that scalloped edge look around the edges. I like for them to be nice and round.
thing I've done from the head all the way around to right behind the back leg. I'm going to turn this around and do the other side now. too short. I use a two inch finishing. Also on top of my boards I've got a hanger on them. I hang them from a rafter out of way in the off season. They are out of my way. You get a couple of these boards built and they take up some space. Now we've got that much done. Now uh, I'm going to do the legs, this hole, and this hole. I don't do any sewing on my beaver. Uh, everything I do is with nails. It just closes them up. So here we go. We need three nails for each leg. Almost had enough nails laid out. And I'm going to use one nail for each, or two nails for each hole. Might go a little longer, we'll go four nails. Go ahead and do four on the other one. <coughs> yeah, I believe we can get away with one on each. They're right in the, kind of the important areas, but ain't nothing you can do about that. On my legs, I'll pull them wide, long ways. I'll tack one nail on this side. I'll bring it over. Pull the leg back this way. Because from what my fur buyer told me, they measure from inside the legs. So I figure if I can pull them legs back a little bit, that's going to give me more space in here. So maybe grade a little better. I'm so bigger for two seasons now and ain't had a problem one. Been complimented both seasons. So. Attack the outside over the inside. That way, when they close, they don't draw up any. We can cut this off before we can get. Sometimes if my front legs are a little long, if I didn't cut them short enough on the small beam, I will uh, pull them up here, kind of like you would on a cane. You cut them off, just pull them up, twist them, hack right through them. <coughs> Same one on the back legs. I tack in the middle on the outside and pull it over. The inside.
holes. I will do the same thing. What I did with the leg. And I'll just kind of center it up to where it's loose in there a little bit. And that is a boarded beaver. Everything we got left to do now is lift it up on the nails about an inch or so. I usually put my fingers into there in order to get in here to these. And I'll get to use a screwdriver. So we'll go around it here, pick it up. If I can get my fingers under it, it's enough for the Play a head screwdriver, push in the rear next to the nails, lift up a little bit. Sometimes you get them in cuts like this, you can't get back in there to them hardly. Everything I've seen on beavers and people stretch them and stuff, they talk about if you can pinch the middle and pull up a little bit, you're good. So, most of them I can do that too. Unless I just mess up and get them a little tight. So there's a beaver boarded. Uh, that's how I do them all. Uh, We'll give it probably three to four days in here. Uh, stage about 60, 65, so they'll dry pretty quick. Uh, I've got one over here that will actually go ahead and pull off. It's good to go. So that'll be on part two of uh, Beaver Put Up. Thank you. Please like and subscribe to my videos. Uh, it helps other people get to them and see them and everybody gets to learn a little bit and happy at the end.